So have you had the experience in conflict with a narcissist of getting reactive? Have you engaged to the point where you're screaming back at them, where you're name calling, where you're even throwing things or coming after them. And then you either end up walking away feeling like you have something to feel bad about, right? Or they flip the script and make you the bad guy, make you the bully, make themselves the victim. So is this something you've dealt with? The reactivity and the inability to not engage when in conflict with a narcissist. We're gonna talk about that. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and recover from toxic relationships, understand narcissism, and transform your life after being involved with toxic people. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching, or anything like that, check out the main description of every video. There's also info on peer support there, so go ahead and take a look at that when you have a chance. Anyway, let's get talking today about this reactivity reactive abuse really is what it is right it's when you're pushed to a point where you fully engage in the argument and you start reacting back you start yelling oftentimes this will happen with a covert narcissist situation where they will start twisting your words and gaslighting you and getting dismissive and going on these little mini silent treatments and shutting down and ignoring you after they have provoked and created a situation where the communication breaks down right because of their manipulation and their toxicity in anything that is uncomfortable and anything that requires conversation and communication where it's not always going their way, right? So the, the words have been twisted, the gaslighting has started, you feel yourself getting angry, you feel yourself getting in reaction and you're holding back thinking, here we go again, they're doing the thing they do, they're gonna twist my words, they're gonna gaslight me and then bang, you start yelling at them, have you had that happen? Wow, so it can take the most calm and even tempered person and throw them into a state of reactivity and through that reactivity, create a problem for the person who is the one being victimized by a toxic person. Because now you have something that you actually might feel the need to apologize for. You have something that you're actually doing in the situation that isn't healthy communication, isn't healthy debate, argument, discussion, right? And you know it. And the difference is you have empathy and you don't want to be that person, right? And so you're conflicted most likely because you didn't create the situation, but you did engage in the situation. And, and you know that for yourself, taking accountability is the only way to move through things and heal. But the other person, the narcissistic person, isn't doing the same thing. So it's a back and forth yo-yo of gaslighting and manipulation and reactivity and then it becomes a habit in your relationship super painful and toxic especially for people who aren't normally angry assertive aggressive reactive people right and when it is with someone who is you know got a short fuse or someone with a little bit of a hot head or whatever it, it it's the perfect storm see the narcissist needs you to go there they need you when they're the type of narcissist that employs this tactic that gets you to react. And yes, it is a tactic. It's like winding someone up so tight and so precisely using just the right words for that specific person that'll trigger and trip them off into a reactive response to whatever the situation is, right? And they will figure out how to do it. And a certain type of narcissistic person will enjoy that because then what it does is it takes all the spotlight off of them. Usually it's the type of narcissist that can't stand to be told they're wrong. They feel like they're a bad person, so to speak, right? If they have to make any corrections, they feel like everyone's always telling them they're wrong and bad. You know, they're the vulnerable narcissistic type. So when you have that going on, they need you to be reactive. They need that in order for the spotlight to be off them, you to be the bad one, because after all, look how angry you get all the time. Look how much you yell. Look how you express yourself, right? That you're, and, and then they don't have to take any accountability. In fact, they can ignore the thing 
that the argument was about then, because then the argument becomes about how horrible you are and how you treat them and how they shouldn't have to put up with it. So basically, the manipulator is manipulating to play the victim. And they're pushing you into an argument, into a reaction. Another thing that happens with some narcissistic people is they like the fight. They get fuel and supply from the arguments and the discord in their life and, and the, you know, that kind of stuff. So they're, they're basically provoking it so they can feed off of it. This whole thing is a setup. It's a setup because the narcissistic person will not engage in a healthy conversation when there's conflict, will not engage in a healthy discussion when something needs to be talked about. Okay. They're not interested in that. They're only interested in what they want when they want it and how they want it so that the world revolves around them. They're not interested in engaging in real healthy relationship that creates growth and change and expression and expansion in both people. Because when this is going on, when you have the type of narcissist who provokes things into this, and I'm not saying that we're not participating, okay? As people who are engaging with other people, we are participating. We are continuing to have conversations and go into the engaging in the gaslighting and, and such. We'll talk about how to deal with it in a second, but yes, of course there is a piece that is ours to say, we need to see, is this how we want to be in relationship? Is this how we want to react to people? Is this healthy for my life, right? However, you're being manipulated there. And if you are just figuring it out, that like, why do I get so explosive? Why do I get so angry at this person? Why am I so reactive? Give yourself a break here and recognize this was whole thing was a setup. The whole thing was was meant and determined to create a situation like a smoke screen so that that narcissistic person could get away with whatever it is they're trying to get away with and hide from any truths and hide from all accountability. So you were probably pushed past your limits with gaslighting, name calling, bullying, arguing, walking on eggshells, and you could only take it so long, right? You can only take so much before it builds up and then something snaps and you react by yelling, by name calling back, by storming out of the room, by shutting down in silence, right? Like you do all the things that they do to you or you, or worse, you do the things that they create. Some of them love to be yelled at so that they can prove that you're bad, you're horrible. Look at you because anyone hearing that yelling is going to say, oh yeah, that person was yelling. The other one just stood there. Poor other person who just stood there because they missed the whole thing, right? They didn't see the provocative things that were being thrown into the mix that then the yelling, you know, was, was created from. That's not to say we shouldn't now take back our control of ourselves and be the people we wish to be. We don't wish to be people who yell at other people, right? We don't wish to be people who are in reaction to that degree. And so don't engage. You guys stop engaging. This is the number one thing for all narcissistic manipulation. Learn to gray rock, okay? If you cannot get away from a narcissist, you choose not to leave a narcissist, you have to have contact, whatever it is. Once you recognize this is going on and that this person isn't going to change their, their way, you need to change your way for your own sake, okay? It's not letting them get away with it. The thing is, they're going to get away with it because they will either get you to the point of reactivity, which then you feel bad about, you have to recover from, you have to apologize for and all of that, or they'll go dismissive, right? They'll go silent. They'll play victim some other way, or they will gaslight you and convince you that it's your fault. So there's always a way for them to wiggle out of it. You're not letting them do anything, okay? By not engaging, you're simply reinstating your boundary of how you will engage when there is any conflict in your life. You're saying, I will not engage with childish, manipulative behavior. If you want a real conversation, bring me a truth, <laughs> right? We know they're not going to, but we're gray rocking and not engaging with anything that is manipulative. And by gray rocking, if you don't know what that means, that means becoming boring, not engaging, 
disentangling yourself from needing to be in that particular situation and letting them spin their own wheels and just sitting back and watching and without any response to it or minimal response, just enough to sort of de-escalate the situation. Okay, or you can try the yellow rocking, which is doing that with a friendly smile. Yeah, it's hard. We're having a fight right now. I don't like it. Okay, and walk away, right? Anything to diffuse, right? Because once the narcissist is engaged in that manipulation, you know how they are. It's not like they're like, gaslight, 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 and you say, oh, okay, and they stop right or you say oh that must be hard or something to yellow rock them right and they stop no they gaslight 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 a little more gaslight and then they wind it down and they wind it down and then they escalate a little bit and then they wind it down but basically you let them argue with themselves a bit and let them do their thing so that your emotions aren't getting in, involved in it your head is not getting into conflict with your heart right you're not part of it Okay, and it isn't about them. It's about you staying distant from that behavior. Know that this is a pattern. When the relationship has come to this point, when this reactivity is the norm, it is now the norm, okay? It's gonna take some time to back out of this. If you're planning to stay or cannot leave or whatever it is, and you don't wish to be in reactive, I know, attack back, you, you need to work on it okay you need to step back and recognize that it isn't yours to deal with that's their problem that they can't take accountability if you're trying to use this to see the truth of the relationship just gray rock and watch how they continue with their toxic behavior and then you'll see that even when you make a positive change they won't okay and maybe that can be your catalyst to get freedom from this if you have to engage like say you're low contact and you have a narcissistic parent and they come at you with something and you so want to attack back or you want to make a snide comment or a sharp remark think for a second is that something you really want to play with right now do you feel like playing in that mucky soup or would you rather give it the two seconds it takes to ignore it hang up the phone walk away whatever it is and go back to your life so it's really about assessing what you want for yourself and finding a way to disengage from the toxicity, whatever your situation is in life. If you cannot get away from it and they continue to come at you, reactivity will only escalate things. It very rarely, if ever, de-escalates things. So don't become part of it, okay? Because you lose yourself in that. You lose your ability to feel like you know how to have a good relationship, to feel like you know how to relate to other people, right? And you start to doubt yourself because you think, well, I was just as bad as they were, right? And so all of that just creates a problem for your own self-worth and your own life. So find your way through. If you need any help with anything, like I said before, check out the main description for information on help, peer support, coaching, group coaching, or my email. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.